Hello everybody and welcome back to another Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode. This is season 5, episode 15, Rise and Shine. And remember that all of these reactions are going to be full and up on my Patreon page. If you're interested, the link's gonna be in the description box. I see they've shown you to your new accommodations. Kidnapped. Of all the blindfolds I've forcibly worn, that was one of the nicest. Mm -hmm. There's a method to... It's time for S.H.I.E.L.D. and HYDRA to finally unite. Right. Like, Colson is gonna allow that to happen. I have to admit, I love the uniform. So she lived there before. Where, where Ruby is living now jealous because I am going places while you will be stuck in middle management. Ouch. Instead, we should look to where the Tesseract came from to find new materials. Meaning? Outer space. <laughs> Finally! Some forward thinking. Keep laughing, assholes. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> Kick their balls. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> that was good though. What happened to the dog? You know that he put those two up to that. Doesn't matter. You punched the future leader of Hydra in the face. You screwed well, your chance. Well, he had it coming. He's a genius. Well done. It's a rite of passage. We must eliminate any weakness, no matter how difficult. Is this because he and I got into a fight? In a sense, yes. Yes. We're actually impressed by your strength, your metal. Well, you would we be surprised would be what a person can do when they're in driven engineering the perfect human specimen for the to chamber. anger. You want me to be artificially inseminated? Quite oh my god! Way. You should be honored. You always have a choice whether or not to comply. <sighs> she is so good though. Hell Hydra. But they're just gonna use her reproductive system. Thought. So Ruby is the future leader. I'm liking this. Any idea what leadership has planned for her after graduation? Oh, they have yet to decide. More reproductive What's to decide? systems. Whitehall designed her to lead. Yeah, but she's a girl. They wanted a boy, right? You all know I hate this feminist bullshit where they make the man look like the worst of the worst like they're doing here like you so, know i hate that but no where i'm gonna it also pisses me off your country calls ruby is so gonna die and she's gonna <clears throat> die behind her be Sorry, because sweet. he freaking loves her i mean it's kind of obvious it's her daughter i'm gonna need you to come with me mm -hmm. By the way, just a side note, it's not that I hate feminism, I just don't like the feminism that it's trying to bring men down and not see Hydra. Equality. Me obeying you, that is weakness. You, with your blind faith, with this stupid tradition, that's weakness. No! Do it is not a fucking of touch me. To a life built on control and survival. Let's go. Girl, no. Cut no. Off your head. Two more, spring up. Yes, thank you, mama. And we're not killing the dog, right? You full of that junk. You sh <laughs> like, poor kid. Poor Talbot, though. And I stand by my red, white, and blue. No, you stand by a country founded in oppression. You stand by an eagle on a shield. 
even after you saw Daisy Johnson shoot you in the head point blank. That wasn't Daisy. That wasn't Daisy. Thank you, Talbot. I know you think I've lost my onions. Shield's coming through that door any day now. You just wait and see. Phil Coulson is coming for me. He waited six months. You guys, is he still alive? I bet that's the same room. He's not alive. Oh my god, Talbot. Is this supposed to keep me off balance or something? All right, I'm loving Having this. I stumble out to an Econo Lodge Continental breakfast. My baby Colson with my baby dog. Hey, wait a minute. One of Earth's mightiest heroes. <laughs> Colson's face. Her words, not mine. Now you see why we have to stop fighting each other and work together. Don't, Colton, this is a trap. But now the Confederacy thinks that we have no choice but to cooperate. What's your plan? You're familiar with Dr. Whitehall? I buried him. <laughs> Go team. My Captain America. Better than that. Nothing will like ever be better. I'd powerful human not be a man. She's not ready. I'm not sure she has the temperament. Because she didn't kill the dog? I'm wondering if your Daisy Johnson is a better fit. You've made her into quite the formidable no. soldier. Maybe infusing her with gravitonium? Yes, she would have the power to level alien armies, blow their ships apart. And she destroy would be worthy of Earth! Code name for the Coulson! Project. Destroyer of worlds. And back. I saw the Earth cracked apart, but not because of She's the Confederacy or that alien ship. I listen to you, now listen to me, General. I've heard enough. Let's try this conversation again when you're feeling more reasonable. You're making a huge mistake! No! This bitch. You have to listen to If me. they don't listen to her, if they don't agree with her, she's like, okay, we'll talk later when you agree with me. And if you don't, we'll okay. talk later. That's so me. <laughs> Tell me how I fail. What do you mean? You told my mom that the destroyer of worlds cracks the planet apart, so... It's, it wasn't you, honey. What did I do wrong? I hate to burst your apocalyptic bubble, but it wasn't you. You can't beat her. Yes, I can. Where is she? No, you can't. I can't tell you, but I can recommend some medication, <laughs> preferably at a high dosage. <laughs> tell me. What happened? What is even oh. handsome? I told him you were coming. <laughs> Super villain. I was thinking about Ruby or someone with superpowers. Go on, let's get it over with. No disrespect, but you sure you got this, or do you need to consult Fitz? No need. Disrespect. I understand. And thank you. She's so nice. I would have snapped. Okay. I just need a few hours access to the computers and the labs. I can figure it out. He still fits. He's not gonna do some crazy super villain shit. I can't shit. help when I'm locked up in this cell. I don't need your forgiveness. I just need you to trust me. You are not leaving this room. You are Hydra. Stop well, it, that's bitch. That's an advantage. I saluted the same flag as those people. Yeah, but we don't turn on our own here. Do you want me to recount all the times that you did? We'll figure out another way to track oh, him down. We've done it before. <gasps> and it was a trap. It'll be different this time. Yeah, because you've got your powers back and you've got the gravitonium. Mm -hmm. We already mm -hmm. sealed one crack in the earth. Mm -hmm. Daisy! Listen, if she's gonna get all rude, then I'm okay with Fitz getting a little rude too. Daisy, where are you going? Come on back, baby! Can you go, baby? Again, I can't do anything while I'm locked away. <laughs> Please. You're not in the least bit hideous. Right? I know we get through this. She's gonna tell him on. Do you recognize this? Yeah. It's mine. Except. After my injury, I got the number engraved because I couldn't remember the name. See, that's the thing. This one's yours. This one's yours. You couldn't tell the difference. The other tool belongs the, to That Dutch. one is. Freaking aged as hell. Grandson. Ugh, heart attack. Yeah. He's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's perfect. 
do it means that our daughter's obviously going to marry some belligerent space goon if she's going to give birth to a deke. No, Fizz. <laughs> it means you and I are invincible. <laughs> okay, uh, real quick before you all start coming at me because I am defending Fitz. I'm not only defending Fitz because he's my baby. I mean, there's a little bit of truth in that, but not all, I'm not only defending him because he's my baby. I'm defending him also because that was the right choice. That was the right thing to do. The, from the beginning, I said she needs her powers back. I didn't even know she was gonna need them this much to control the gravitonium and shit and seal the cracking time and space that was gonna ruin the world because it was gonna bring all the nightmares to the to the city to the real world not only to wherever they are it was gonna be bad so Fitz did what he had to do he didn't do it the best way possible that's true not gonna defend him there he went fucking bollocks he won bollocks he lost it he it was it was bad it was bad because she was fucking awake that thing hurt but she was gonna say no if she if he ever brought it out so he had no choice probably he did maybe if Coulson would have talked to her she would have start slowly start to change her mind until she would be like okay yes i'm ready probably because colson is is very convincing especially with daisy uh but it was the right thing to do they, they didn't really have time <laughs> to wait for colson to convince daisy so yeah daisy can't see it now i'm sure she will at some point i mean he, he was right. She's been against S.H.I.E.L.D. and... You know what I'm saying? Uh, a couple of times, a few times. So he, she can't just... <laughs> we don't turn our back on each other. Don't come with that bullshit with us, please, honey. Because we know your history. We lived it with you. And she almost killed Fitz, Fitz once. When she, like, quaked him in the neck and... You know, you remember, right? So, I don't know. I'm in Fit's side, but I'm also a little bit in Daisy's side. Because, it like, that was fucking traumatizing. Poor Daisy. But again, we didn't have time to convince her and to let her sleep on it. The thing was opening up and we needed to seal it. We don't have the doctor here to come help us so i'm sorry daisy it had to happen so yeah i know all of you that defend daisy because uh, i have already been warned that i'm gonna get into a, some sort of civil war here against the fitz side and the, the daisy side uh all of you in daisy side i know you understand I know you understand. That was the right thing to do. Not the best way to do it, but we didn't have time. Although, if Fitz, if Fitz wasn't that crazy, I think he would have think of a better way to do it. But I'm sorry, guys. That's what we have. He's crazy. He's bonkers. He's bollocks. We have to embrace him. He fixed the problem. Anyways, thank you for watching this episode with me. And as always, I'm Saramiana, and I'll see you in my next video. I am Peter Pan, I'll never be a man if you never wanna grow Take my hand, I'll take you to Neverland I am Peter Pan, I'll never be a man if you never wanna grow Take my hand, I'll take you to Neverland